Hello, I'm working on the second allotment today. The ground outside is too wet to do any digging, so I decided to do some work in the greenhouse. The rebar was shot up. I mean, I was here on Saturday. It was nowhere, and now suddenly, three, four days, and boom. But yeah, it's too damp to do any digging. But it's a bit damp and drizzly out there, so uh, it's too uh, wet to do any digging. So I thought I'd come in, brought in the broad beans, so they can sit in the greenhouse for a few days, and then I can pack them out. But this morning, I can get on and clear out some of this stuff, and clear out this side of the greenhouse because now we're coming on to the season where I'm going to need the shelf space so everything's got to be cleared out. I brought some mushroom crates to uh, try and organise a few things. Somebody gave me that which is going to be useful for the uh, bottles. First job, let's sort out some of those bottles and put it in there and I can put that aside see what else is down there. Potatoes lying about. I don't want to do anything. Oh, crumbs. More potatoes back there. Yeah, there must have been a bag of seed potatoes here, but I think these are for the compost part of the place. Taking a few bottles out of there. So behind those bottles is a load of pots and seed modules and things. And it goes all the way along. So I'm gonna leave those alone and just try and tidy up the top. Put some of those pots down there and uh, tidy up this other bench so I can use it and I'll deal with the pots later. So a few odds and ends in this corner. Uh, that looks like a handle or something, like a broom handle or something. That looks about the right size to be a leg of one of these benches, but I can't see one that's missing. So I'll keep that aside. A few bits and pieces like that that need to go in the bin. And uh, bits of metal that need to go in the scrap metal part. And then I can get in and clear that bit out because it's just got full of weeds. We don't want that. And all that is just rotting the timbers. So uh, once I get all that soil and muck out of here and dried out, and this can dry out a bit more, then we don't get slugs and mice and things nesting in here. Right, so that can go in a bin. I don't know what's in these boxes. These are ancient, but they were obviously built to last. So that one's There's something in that one, but I'm not bothered with that for the moment. It's not causing any harm. Another one here. God, this thing might be older than me. I'm not saying something. Anybody know what this is? I've never even seen that used in the garden. I've no idea what it is. Looks like some sort of scoop. I'll uh, leave it and ask Tony what it is. Right. I'll keep that box here for now. Keep me this. Another spray bottle. Okay. So, well, this stuff is old, old stock. Right, anyway, old biscuit tin that'll go in the scrap metal pile. I think all the bricks here I'll pile up in that corner once I've cleared it. Now this shelving is actually in good nick, so I'll keep this. And 
where it is because the sun comes from that angle so this would be perfect either for storage or when we put seeds that need to germinate in the shade or in the dark they can go on these shelves and then once they've come out we can put them up on the benches so we'll keep that just needs a bit of a clean which is what i might do is save the effort take it out leave it in the rain and that'll wash it saves me doing it There are a lot of cobwebs under the benches, but looking at how much rubble is actually in the cobwebs, the spiders have long gone. So these can be cleared out. There's a lot of rubbish in the corner. This stuff was all roots, a lot of mud, but uh, because this has been had plaster and cement and stuff mixed in with this, it's just rubble. So I can't use it in the beds or anywhere. So it's got to be bagged up and thrown away. The bench on the short side of the greenhouse is now clean and I've swapped under it. because you can see where it's uh, had the soil around it it's uh, held moisture up against the uh, timber and it's starting to rot you can see it's worse on that end so uh, hopefully having swept up all this rubbish from around it it will uh, keep the uh, timbers going for a bit longer there's a air vent there but obviously there's brambles and stuff on the other side blocking it but i'll sort that another day found a few bricks so uh, i'll move them outside get them out of the way There are a lot of bugs and things living under here between the bricks that were in there and things like slugs. This one's had a rude awakening. Suddenly he had a nice cosy home in the greenhouse. Now it's out in the cold. It's going to get an even ruder awakening. Let's get rid of him. Okay, I'll just temporarily put the bricks out here. It's pouring it down, as you can hear. So I guess I won't be digging over that bed tomorrow either. I have found a use for this thing. It's quite good at picking up all this rubbish. <clears throat> this is actually quite good for scraping all the muck off the floor of the greenhouse don't know whether, whether you were designed for this job but certainly doing a good job of it all this years of accumulated 
muck. Just getting out of here. And all this damp soil will hold moisture, the floor will be remain wet, and then you get diseases in the greenhouse. So getting this stuff out of the way is important because it eventually it will affect the health of the plants. So uh, I want it out. I want all this cleared so it can dry out when the sun hits it. Things like brambles are rooting in it because it's that deep. So far I've done one side, half of that side and going through this way but I'll have to leave that lot till, till we sort out the pots but you know this bits of broken glass and things there as well so getting there the, the water's back on the water's back on so no more having to uh, bring bottles of water for a drink during the winter I can start using the tap I've had a second thought all these pots and stuff here none of it is going to get harmed by going in the rain so what I'm going to do is take all this stuff out I mean it's all got cobwebs and all sorts might as well leave them outside let the rain clean them up a bit and then I can get in and clear this side as well which will be great and these I'm going to put on a shelf in the shed so if I clean up one of these shelves then I can put those trays in here and have the greenhouse done This thing that brambles up here and this pot, I don't know what it is, but it's very old. <laughs> right, so if I get rid of that bramble and give that a quick wipe. I can start using that shelf to put some of the stuff from the greenhouse into and then I can clear some of this stuff. Clearing up the shelf and look what I found. DDT and it's full and it's been sitting there god knows how many years <laughs> which goes to show how was the last time anybody went up there and had a good clear out. But I'll have to find out how to get rid of this thing because I don't think I can just dump it in the bin. It ended up going in the council incinerator. I've taken the trays out so I can clear the area of bench that was under them. Now that the bench is cleared, it needs a good brushing and cleaning. Be careful. Right, I'm going to put the broom handle. Tim is going to take some of the trays, so I'll keep him on this bench for now. That's that half cleared. Now to sort out this lot. Uh, well that's the best I can do with that uh, long handled broom because I've got glass on the other side of it. So I just sort of roughly cleaned it. I'll bring a stiff brush from home and uh, Clean that up properly later. Oh, I'll move that stuff. I just noticed this bit of wood is really, really rotten. So, anyway, deal with that later. I keep finding boxes of mysterious white stuff. This is nuts and raisins, but there's no other label on it. And it could be anything. Another packet there, I don't know what was in there, don't know what's in here. Looks like a cat litter tray back there. <laughs> it's probably a lime or something but... Oof. Anyway, I managed to clear a shelf in the shed so I can put some of the stuff from the greenhouse in here. Just sort of shove a few things around. 
I don't think any, this place has been reorganized for many a year, many a year, because there's stuff in here that's like 20 year dot. That DDT worries me, and God knows what this stuff is. Don't know what it is, so I don't know how to get rid of it. Find some of this fleece, well, so it's fleece and bubble wrap. So presumably that's just to keep the plants warm during the frost. So we'll hold on to that. Some of it has obviously seen better days. I mean, this old fleece is looking a bit tatty, but I'll uh, put it on the shelf and see what Tim wants to do with it. Now the fleece is gone. It was actually taking up quite a bit of space, but once I folded it neatly, it didn't take up as much space. Now to clear up the pots, I've got that shelf for all the pots, so uh, I'll see how, many, how much of it I can put in there. I'll get them reorganized first. Once with the uh, screws in. Different sizes, got some of them fit inside each other. So I found that, which I think is the spout, uh, the uh, rose. For this all-star watering can, but it doesn't fit properly, so I'll have to fiddle with that another day. This thing is full of pots. Uh, I'm just not, not going to bother sorting through it. I just stick it outside. There's another thing full of pots. It was a long day, and it was raining heavily, so I decided to stop and finish this another day.